My name is Dr. Joylet Woodley Faisal and I'm from Sandy Point and I am one of the designers of the National Wear for the Federation of St. Kitts and Denise. Well, in order for us to speak about the National Wear, we have to go back to the summer of 2003. What we all know, that was the summer that Kim Collins won the 100 meter dash. He brought home the gold. I also returned from college on vacation and I was inspired I had the passion, I had the drive to contribute as well to my federation. The National Wear is a dress that has great significance. Because of the significance, I brought in other persons in the creation of that wear. So I brought in my cousin, who is Vaughan Woodley, a lawyer and someone who studied the arts and the history science. I also brought in my sister, Grace Woodley, second runner-up in the Miss St. Kitts 2005. And then we later brought on our artists to put all of our ideas on paper. Now, if you look at the national wear, with the main body of the national wear, which is a white dress. And on the top of that white dress, which is made of cotton, we have the corset. Now, the corset represents French. And as you know, we were once colonized by the French. So we thought it was appropriate to have the corset, which was very fashionable in France during that era, to be part of that dress. The corset nicely flows into an ankle length flared petticoat. Now the petticoat represents the English. So we also thought it was necessary, appropriate, to actually add the petticoat, which represents our English heritage. Now if you look at the dress, we use the crocus bag because it shows how creative our forefathers and foremothers were in using this cheap but yet durable material to protect. So that skirt actually protects the undergarment that they wore. If you continue to observe the dress, you would realize that we have a madras soda wrap. The madras is a cotton material that the English brought from India to the Caribbean, not only to St. Kitts, but it can be seen as a staple throughout the national wares throughout the Caribbean. Then we have a little bag made from that same crocus material. The head wrap for the national wear for the female is the centerpiece. It represents our African heritage. It pays homage to our beautiful African ancestry. It symbolizes, it is an expression of greatness, sophistication, and African pride. So that was used as to pay homage to our forefathers from Africa. Paradise, oh.